Lawyers will soon start making their cases in the Kim Potter trial. Potter is the former Brooklyn Center police officer who shot and killed Dante Wright. After three days of jury selection, 12 jurors were seated. Now all that's left is choosing two alternates before opening statements can start. For more to expect in court today, we are joined by criminal defense attorney Joe Champarino, who is not affiliated with the case. Joe, thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, Heather. Thank you. So two alternates to go. They moved relatively quickly with this jury selection. Uh, Joe, we had heard from the judge that they were going to start the trial, the opening statements on Wednesday, but that may change. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It may change. This has gone very quickly. I mean, think of it. This is a major case. Everybody's watching it. Uh, it has great consequences if there's a conviction and they got a jury within three days. There's only two things to do, and that's pick the two alternates, and that should happen this morning, which means they could start openings as early as Monday, but I bet they won't start till Tuesday. Huh, okay. Joe, yesterday uh, there was a, a, a unique case. They brought one of the jurors that had already been selected back for questioning there because that juror was concerned that their identity had been mistakenly released there. What impact might that have on this case? Well, luckily, well, hopefully none, because the juror came back and said that he was very concerned that his name was released, and it was released by the defense attorney in a mistake on, on Tuesday. However, uh, the judge assured the juror that the jury will still have anonymity, no one will know their identities, and they'll keep close watch on it. And with those assurances, the juror said that he would be fine continuing to serve on the jury. So it was a worry for a while, but now it looks like it's been solved. Joe, we talked a lot about uh, the racial makeup of the trial during the Derek Chauvin trial um, of the jury there. Um, this is uh, this jury more significantly white than we've seen before. Nine members of this jury are white, three people of color. Um, what do we think about that? That should be fine, and here's why. The Derek Chauvin case was quite unique with the amount of people of color. I mean, in Minnesota, it's still 80% white. This jury has 12 people, and three are people of color, two Asian and one African American. So even with that, it's still a good amount of number for people of color, rather than having an all-white jury. Mm -hmm. uh, court back in session at 9 o'clock this morning. What should we expect today? Well, we should expect to go pretty quickly today. When they choose alternates, usually that doesn't take long. Uh, the attorneys have less questions for the alternates. So that should happen by, I would say, 11 o'clock, maybe noon. And then they'll deal with some other pre preliminary matters. And then the judge will give us the blueprint for the future, meaning when will they start opening statements? When will they start calling witnesses? Which should all, I would imagine, start on Tuesday. Uh, so we should know more information later on today. Yes. Okay. All right. Joe Pamperino, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Court back in session, as we mentioned, 9 o'clock. You can watch it live on our streaming network, CBSN Minnesota. You can grab your phone there, uh, scan that QR code on the screen. WCCO team, we've been giving you legal analysis. We've been giving you context throughout jury selection. We'll continue to do that throughout the trial all the way through to the verdict.